let's continue here guys okay the overall topic is utilities right i mean not utilities how to save money on your expenses and by the way we can learn something from michelle because she has very little expenses that is awesome shout out to that woman man she's amazing um all right so number two here when it comes to utilities okay and by the way if you're just tuning in we're talking about basically how to save money on your expenses so so far we're talking about basically shelter utilities grocery transportation and we already talked about shelter so now we're going to talk about utilities so over here guys as always I, I love showing this off i don't know why but it's something about a powerpoint that i actually just like a lot okay so this right here is the powerpoint that i'm actually using and over here right we have energy utilities you know and you can basically to you save money get energy saving equipment turn the lights off internet get what you need don't get the fast internet phone bill keep it low you don't need the fast internet out there like verizon or t-mobile you can get for example a prepaid phone and save a lot of money insurance make sure to negotiate these things they're very important now here's a bad way to try to save money on your utilities okay people stopped doing math i don't know why you know but people say well tommy i'm gonna get a solar panel in my house and i'm gonna pay twenty thousand dollars right twenty thousand dollars or i'm gonna get like a like a tesla solar battery or whatever it is solar battery pack for ten thousand dollars the answer is make sure the math makes sense okay it's not that simple to say well this solar panel is an investment is gonna make me money it's not that simple okay make sure the math makes sense or people that basically say, hey i'm gonna go ahead and buy a fridge for five thousand dollars to save money on my electricity bill it's stupid okay don't do things like that they make no sense okay and also be careful buying things that lead to other expenses what do i mean okay if you buy a tesla well now you need a plug for your tesla and you also need, for example, like the battery pack in your house for the Tesla, right? Or if you buy an iPhone, now you need some AirPods. Then you need, for example, like um, an iPad and a MacBook. Be careful buying things that lead to, for example, buying other things, okay? Or you bought some pretty cool sneakers. Well, now you need a t-shirt for it, some jeans for it. Your nails need to be done or whatever, right? There's so many things. So just be careful buying things that get you to spend more money. It's like, you know when they used to tell you that, um, that certain things you do are like gateway gateway things it's kind of like certain things you buy are also gateway expenses like they lead to other ones you want to be very careful with this stuff now the third thing we want to save money on is going to be yes groceries and all my foodies must hate me because of this okay but i am not a fan of spending a thousand dollars on food per month per person it's just so stupid okay and people say, well, Tommy, I'm a vegan, or I'm vegetarian, I'm pescatarian, I'm vegetarian, whatever it is. So that's why I spend so much money. The answer is, it's fake news. I've started eating, like, more vegan stuff, and in reality, it's not that expensive. At all, okay? Not at all. People tend to eat a lot, of, a lot out, and that's why I spend so much money. But some ways to save money on your grocery bill is going to be get a wholesale club membership. Sam's Club. Costco um bj's it's just a great way to buy things in bulk and basically save a lot of money today i spent 169 dollars in the grocery store i bought enough chicken salmon and cod for for example the next month and a half like i just have a lot of it okay because you bought you buy it in bulk you know you buy like one chicken breast here for like four dollars and you're like haha this is good it's like one meal bro like four dollars per meal it's kind of crazy right so no don't do that buy things in bulk it's gonna help you out a lot also if you're broke and you got a problem with money maybe it's not the best idea to go out there and basically eat out every single day you know twenty dollars three times a week that's 60 bucks times four that's going to be around, if I'm not mistaken, around 240, isn't it? Let me just double check the math here. So 60 times four should be 240. Yeah, it is 240, right? So that, that money adds up, you know? So 240 here, plus the groceries and all this stuff, it adds up, it adds up, it adds up, okay? By the way, it's not permanent. Eventually, once you're financially free, you can spend a lot more money. But when you're broke, you gotta have priorities, you know? I saw this show, you know, this show on, what's it called, on Millennial Money. And I was this couple, and they'll spend like a thousand dollars per month on food. I'm like, for what? Like, for what are you buying? You know what I mean? Like, it's ridiculous. 
it's ridiculous and people think that for example higher quality or higher price always means like higher quality it's not true all my food every bit of it that i bought today for a hundred and sixty nine dollars is fully organic no antibiotics um grass-fed wild caught all the fancy nicknames you want to call it and i'm gonna basically use that for the next like month and a half okay now if i go for example to a restaurant towards some salmon bro it's like twenty dollars i bought a whole pack right i can make my own meals so practice cooking you don't know how to cook learn how to cook youtube it all right youtube it um also have a fixed budget and also have meal plans meal plans help me a ton whenever i cook i make food for like at least three days three days to four days usually the protein i don't cook it most of the time but sometimes i do but protein is usually pretty simple to actually just cook like i'm talking about like the chicken you can just make it like five minutes so no big deal there so yeah cook at home it's a pretty good way to actually do it don't spend too much money on that stuff man it's, it's a big waste of money and by the way guys um keep going ahead and comment in the chat so i can answer your questions and everything like that now the fourth thing to save money on is going to be on transportation and by the way if you notice here i could have put anything here i could have put for example a lamborghini a a bugatti but most people don't go broke buying those things they go broke buying like the toyotas and the hondas and the mazdas like the 2022 versions and they're like why am i broke because you spend 700 dollars in your car that's why you're broke you know what i mean that's where your money's going like spending 700 dollars in your car michelle spends 250 bucks that lady is going to be doing great 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 now overall what do you want to do here you want to buy a used vehicle right so this gives you for example a 50 percent discount right off the bat because what cars are depreciating assets so when you buy a five-year-old model you get usually a 30 to 50 percent discount three to five years is gonna be just fine get it checked out by a mechanic but tommy it's the old car i don't want to buy it get the mechanic to check it every new car becomes old so cars are reliable doesn't matter if you buy it by used and also remember this is temporary eventually you'll get to buy the car you want to buy but financing it and hoping things work out not a good idea i have for example uh let's just call him for example an uncle and his car payment is more than his mortgage payment it's ridiculously stupid don't do that also when you have a car remember it's machinery it is equipment things break down meaning for example you have to save money for when things go wrong have a sinking fund for it my average rule is have at least two thousand dollars on the side for this car or three thousand because using the big expenses are like three thousand dollars but again if you maintain this car as if it was new like you know like when you first get something you take care of it don't sit there wash your feet or whatever before you enter my car or change the oil so often right get your car checked out if you do that it'll last you a lot longer my car just told me today well three days ago tommy maintenance required soon soon so what am i gonna do i'm gonna take it to the advanced auto what is it called advanced auto parts and basically get a checkup and also just get the oil change and whatever it basically needs take care of the vehicle it is an expense but at least it lasts a lot longer i can avoid you those big expenses like three thousand dollars four thousand dollars you want to avoid those now the bad way to do this is buying a new car getting crazy car payments and having a car that is worth more than half your income by the way not that hard you make four thousand dollars a year you buy a car for thirty thousand dollars stupid forty thousand dollars stupid 20k less stupid 10k though smart right again it's just temporary buy the things you can basically afford to buy right now for cash and then eventually you'll be able to buy the things for cash that most people can't afford anyway so it's all about patience but overall guys those right there are the four main things you want to get into a habit of saving money on so just to summarize here let's go back to the entire like excel thing we have for example shelter you want to keep this basically below 30% of your income. Also utilities, meaning do the right things to save money on your energy, right? But don't buy crazy equipment to save money on energy. It's stupid. The math not that simple. Groceries, don't spend $1,000 a year per month. It's ridiculous. And your car, buy used. 
buy used and get it checked out by a mechanic, right? That way you feel fully, fully confident in it. Now, let me go ahead and basically, by the way, guys, comment in the chat. Let me know if you guys have questions. That's what I'm here for.